Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Manning Field for Catholic Central League Boys Soccer. A long trip for Bishop Stanton. I asked him, it took him the better part of two hours to get here. That's a long trip. Not to mention the traffic. So it's Bishop Stang against St. Mary's. Bishop Stang and Bishop Fian. I think it's now like two or three years they moved into the Catholic Central League to increase the league and more teams, more games. But it's a trip and a half. For Stang and Fian, it's a trip and a half. St. Mary's and Fenwick, but they only have to make the trip once. Stang and Fian have to make it twice, once for St. Mary's and once for Fenwick. St. Mary's undefeated. Seven wins, two ties. Obviously no losses. Stang trying to get a little over 500. They're 5-4-1. Five, Stang in white, St. Mary's in blue. And it's Jacob Garino in net for St. Mary's. Donovan Boyle for Bishop Stang. And I have to credit one of the young assistants, helpless for the coach of Stang. They didn't have a printed roster, and he wrote one out for me. He did a very good job. I can read it. See, Mary's just trying, the boys are trying to get the first win for Lynn here at Manning Field. English girls had a big first half, but they against an outstanding Revere girls team, but then Revere took over in the second half. The Glasgow boys lost a very tough one to nothing game, giving up a goal in the second half. St. Mary's girls lost here on Monday, the only game played. So St. Mary's boys are trying to get Lynn back on the winning track here at home at Manning Field. From just outside the 10 yard line, I think this is Jackson taking the shot, and he knocked it home. The free kick. The goalie, Boyle, got a piece of it and deflected off his hands just inside the far post. And very quickly, St. Mary's jumps on top. Jackson, the leading scorer for St. Mary's. So right away, Bishop Stang is in a hole. They knock it out into the Stang bench. St. Mary's puts it in play. Popped up, looking to come down the far side, trying to pop it in front and pushed it out of play. This would be a rare day at Manning Field. If supposedly, this is the only game here, and that very seldom happens. There were three here last night. There's three here tomorrow night. Stang knocks it up. St. Mary's keeps it alive. Akandi. Uh, I don't 
know, somebody got hit with their hand or deflected it. The referee signaling it went off a hand, and, and St. Mary's backed up like they were giving the kick to Stang, and the officials say, no, it's the other way. St. Mary's gets the kick. And Brody McCarron takes it. He's the son of the coach. They actually have two, Eddie Mercy and Shane McCarron, the coaches for St. Mary's, doing an outstanding job. It goes out off Stang. St. Mary's will get a corner kick. And they bring the big guys, McCarron and Cornell, to rebound out in front. Coming from the far side. Out in front. And they got, I don't know if they're offside, they knocked somebody down, but they're going to give Stang the kick before St. Mary's could do anything with that corner kick. They line drive it out. St. Mary's got a foot on it, keeps it in. Back to Cornell. Cross field to Wakandi. Got around with it. His pass deflected. Stang knocks it out. So far it's been all St. Mary's. Keeping it in the Stang end. Getting the one goal. Kips passed. St. Mary's collects right back at it. Down the far side. Looking to get it out in front. And making the basket catch is Boyle. I think that was Solis sitting in his lap looking for a rebound. Headed back. St. Mary's keeps it in. Akandi knocks it deep. Tipped off Solis, goes all the way to Boyle and he'll kick it away. High kick out near midfield, bounces by St. Mary's. Stang has it for the first time in the St. Mary's end to the near side. Knocking it high in the air, right to the net. Carino was able to catch it before anybody gets in front of him, and he throws it upfield. So they left one of the players off the roster, and that was the young man that just took the shot. I guess I read it wrong. It's Garrett Vieira. I thought it was 15 and 16. St. Mary's trying to come out of the far corner. Knock loose. Stang knocks it out. Popped up. St. Mary's right back at it. The Stang in. And he tried to center it. And he knocked it way wide up over behind the net and out of play. That was Miller, I think, with the kick. The kick got blocked right back to Boyle. He'll pick it up and kick it away. Again, he booms it to midfield. Stang knocking it up. Akandi knocked it away. Stang will get the throw in. This is their deepest penetration. They push it and they push it too far. He knew it too. 
He didn't bother to try and go get it, keep it in. I mentioned a long trip to Stang. They brought some fans sitting up in the stands behind the Stang bench. Akandi gets to it, tips it up. It bounced nicely for St. Mary's, so they were able to keep it in over the foot of one of the Stang people. Fake the shot. Now they take the shot. They put it right in the middle of the net, but put it too high over the net and out of play. I think that was Kemich. Well, the line drives it off of St. Mary's chest. Picked off by St. Mary's. He looked like looked like Kemmons picked that off, was going to walk in, but he picked it off and pushed it too far. He couldn't go get it. He pushed it right by one of the standing defenders. When he went to go get it, he pushed it too far and it got knocked away. He just battles and takes it away. Miller trying to get it to the net. It skipped past. Solis got the shot. He couldn't, the goalie was out of the net, but he couldn't get the shot the first time because it was bounced too high. And when he pulled it away, he ripped it and knocked it wide, right past the net and out of play. St. Mary's still keeping it in the Stang in. Blocked by Stang. They try to send Jackson in. St. Mary's nice little shift taken away. Kevin's broken up. Bodies go down. And they finally make the call. They're going to call it against St. Mary's. Stang will get to kick it away. Knocked out by Stang. Goes by and out of play, and Cornell will put it in play from right in front of, actually, they call it contact on Stang, so Cornell will get the kick from in front of the Stang bench. Headed away by Stang. Headed back to Cornell. Drills it towards the net down the near side. Nice shift. Solis gets around. Throws it out in front. Stang knocks it away. It skipped right past Weber. And I have to say Thomas Weber because there's two of them. Stang will have their deepest penetration with the throwing down deep just past the St. Mary's bench. Cornell knocks it back upfield. And we're going to take down an in inadvertent trip. And Stang will get the free kick. Right about the 20 yard line.
They got a head on it and knocked it over the net. A line drive. They stepped in, got what they wanted. They got a head on it. I think it was Spencer Menard who got his head on it, but it went over the net. Headed back. Menard with it again. Banging going on, bodies go down, they let him play. No call. They try to bang it off St. Mary's, St. Mary's kept it in. And they get it back upfield. They knock it deep to the net, boy will come out past the five yard line, play it on a hop and he'll kick it away. Bouncing ball, I keep hearing. I thought maybe we were having a timeout because I heard whistles. There were people in the stands they keep blowing whistles. So I don't know if they fouled up the throw in, but they're going to give it back to Stang. Knocked out by Stang. Substitution for both teams. Sam Harris has it where it's been most of this first half in the staying in. Sam Harris takes it away. Out in front, and he missed the net. They made the nice pay, play. It looked like St. Mary's was offside, and they were. So it, it wouldn't have counted if he knocked it in. It was Gomez with the kick, and it was Gomez that was offside. They give it. I can't even have it. St. Mary's keeps it in. Trying to get it to the net. Stang knocks it away. I can't even got a foot on it. Kept it alive. All the way back. To McCarran. McCarran trying to knock it deep. St. Mary's tips it to themselves. Looking to go get it. I think that was Weber. Stang knocked it out. St. Mary's with a quick throw in. Again, kicking it to the net. It skipped right past Stang, but there was no blue shirts there to take advantage. Cornell keeps it in, pops it up. They knock it to the near side to Akandi. Out in front, Stan got a head on it. Akandi knocks it back. And I, they pushed it ahead, thinking. Akandi was going to go to the net, and he stayed on the sideline, so it just went harmlessly out of bounds. Uh, St. Mary couldn't keep it in. Now they call it off Stang.
Weber to Weber. They get it back. Looking to walk in. Still getting around on this court. That was outstanding. They went over, around, and through the defense. They beat a couple of defenders. So Weber was knocking in. That's Marcos Weber. What a great turn he went. Kept fiddling and diddling, went by, through, around, under. A couple of defenders got around. Boyle came out to cut down the angle, and he knocked it inside the far post. A tremendous effort by Marcos Weber. Don't by staying halfway through and counting this first half. A big one for St. Mary's. A win here would put them a game away from qualifying for the state tournament. Gomez knocks it ahead. Akandi got around the defense nicely. Again, throws it in front. Stang knocks it away. Couple of nice moves by Akandi. Gomez drills it to the net. Stan got a piece of it. Knock it away. Now they knock it deep. Stan trying to get something going. Had only been in St. Mary's territory once with a throw in down deep. They haven't come close to Garino in net for a shot. And St. Mary's tips it away and keeps it in the Stang end. Stang takes it away. St. Mary's takes it right back. Trying to get it to the net. Headed away by Stang. And went out off Stang. Out off St. Mary's. Swung and missed at that one. Uh, give it all the way back to Garino. And he'll boot it away. And he booted it out of play. So staying again, this is the second time they've been down this deep with a throw, and this time not through their own efforts. This is through a kick by Garino that sliced off to the far side. Samir so kicks it out to get a throw a little deeper. Trying to center it. Cornell got a foot on it. Cornell takes the shot. It missed. Carino got a piece of it, knocked it off the side of the net, and that'll give Stang their first corner kick coming from the far side. I know it gets a head on it, knocks it away. Stang trying to knock it back. Hit a high fly ball over everything out of play. Gorgeous day here. Blue skies, white clouds. Sun is shining. A uh, little bit of a chill, but not cold. People, nice little crowd here watching this one. We mentioned 
the people on the stank side behind the stank bench. So a comfortable night. You might have to wear a jacket, but not the heavy winter jacket. It was just a kill the chill. I kind of trying to get around with it, but then lost it out of bounds. By the center, it got picked off. I can't deal with it. Bumped into Vieira and went down. Vieira took it away, but then St. Mary's gets it right back. Bumping going on. And got Weber was complaining about getting bumped. Akandi down the, the far side, stops, gives it back to Gomez. Knocked away by Stang. Gomez gets it back. Cross field. Trying to get it to the net. Stan gets a head on it. Samiris picks it off. Gomez. From behind the back stuff. They try to tip it ahead. Gomez breaking to the net. Broken up. Jackson has it taken away. Stang looking to push it up. It's a foot race. Cornell hustles and slides. Good defense by Cornell. It looked like Silva was going to beat him to the ball. And he just slid like he was sliding into third base. And knocked it away. Outstanding defense by Cornell. And it's right back in the standing end. Stang takes it away. Mary's fighting. Akandi takes it back. And McCarron boots it deep. Okay, having trouble getting offense going. McCarron got a foot in and knocked it away. And at the same time, he took Manad down and we'll get a substitution for Stang. They'll get the throw in. And I'll be Payas throwing it in. Payas has it taken away. And it finally goes out and they call it off St. Mary's. Yep. Getting a foot on it was Marin, and Alakandi knocks it deep, nothing there but a white shirt. Rosendas with it. To Paeus, Alakandi knocks it away. Banging going on.
Perez with the throw in. Jackson knocks it to the middle. Cornell to the far side. Stang took it away. St. Mary's takes it back. And he knocked it all the way back to Garino. And this is the only time he's touched it is when his own players have sent it back. There was one shot. There was a fly ball that he caught midsection off the foot of Vieira on the free kick. But it wasn't a, a difficult save. Knocking it to the net. It goes by everybody. Boy will grab it and hold on. Everybody getting ahead on it. Nobody getting control of it. St. Mary's finally does. And Stang takes it away. Uh, but they knock it out. Everybody getting a head on it. Stang knocked it out. And then we'll get a substitution for St. Mary's. Deflected. St. Mary's pass picked off. They knock it deep. Garina was there. And he'll kick it to the near side. Perez trying to knock it up. It got blocked and knocked out by Paez. Perez puts it in play. Don't know. I have number seventeen. I don't know who that is for St. Mary's. The cross that he gave me before doesn't have a number seventeen. Broken up by McCarran. As Katz went down. Payus. And here he's trying to tip it away. They tipped it away from the would-be receiver. Stang knocked it out. Trying to center it. Stang got a piece. Looking to get around. Shot. Popped it straight up in the air. And boy, will go up over. And out rebound number 17, who I don't know who it is. And boy, we'll kick it away. I don't know if they changed jerseys or they maybe tore or ruined the shirt and had to change numbers, but we have to say number 17 because we don't know who he is. Battle going on, Stang takes it away, uh, but they knocked it out. They knock it to the near side to Perez. Down the near side. 
Gomez throws it out in front. Stan got a piece of it, but they popped it up in the air. Bodies go down in front. In a crowd of players, it got knocked loose in St. Mary's. All that mass out in front blasted home. So Mary's makes it 3 nothing, just under six minutes left in the half. We'll get a timeout down on the field. Out of the timeout, here we go. Still trying to figure out who got the goal. We thought it was Solis, and now we're looking saying it was Jackson getting his second goal. Free kick coming from McCarran. A little behind the back action, and it got tipped out in front again. And it just slowly went to the net. I think the last one was off Marin. And Boyle grabbed it. Perez gets a head on it. And they're going to call contact on St. Mary's for climbing up and over. O'Neill breaks it up, hocks it away. Tim Harry's with a three-goal lead here as we're winding down this first half. And they've been controlled all the way. They've kept it and staying in. They haven't got a shot on Garino. They got one free kick that was like a little lob. Garino came out of the net and caught it about waist high. And it was... I suppose you could call it a shot on net, but it wasn't really any kind of a difficult save for Garino. And that's as close as they've come. We're down to the final two minutes, but the clock kept 
on the field now. I see Mary's makes another substitution. They tip it ahead. Stang trying to let it go out. St. Mary's kept it in. Now they say no, it went out. Looked like they kept it in, but it hit the yellow line, so it's out. Gomez trying to knock it to the net. It's, they swung and missed at it. But the one defender swung and missed, but the other one went and got it and kicked it out of play. And they blow the whistle, and that's going to do it for the half. So a big half of St. Mary's. They put three on the board, and they kept staying virtually away from goaltender Jacob Carino. That one free kick from Long Raise, he came out of the net to make the save. He gets a handshake from Shane McCarran, as Garino does as he comes off the field. And St. Mary's put three on the board, and they dominated territorial-wise, keeping staying back on their heels. And St. Mary's looking to go un stay undefeated, looking for their eighth win. They lead it 3 nothing at halftime. Welcome back to Manning Field as we're getting set. As we ha are into the second half, they just started. We verified Kea Jackson got that free kick to start St. Mary's off. It was Marcos Weber getting the second goal. And it was Ida Solis getting the third. And that's where we are, three to nothing as we start the second half. And as we did in the first half, St. Mary's Looking to dominate. Stang has got them down deep right away. It took him a long time to get in the same area he's in in the first half. Cian Lavasser is now the goalie. He usually split. Garino started. Uh, Lavasser is now in net. That bright sunshine is kind of Dissipated a little bit, ducking behind some clouds, but still a nice night here. Uh, he bounced up and got somebody in the hand, and Stang will get the free kick. And Menard will take it from the 30 yard line. Off to the left side, bounces by everybody. Stang had to try to keep it in, but they get, they did, but they gave it right to St. Mary's. Uh, St. Mary's will bring it up. They knock it deep. It skipped right by. Maybe Kimmich. Stang had a hustle to keep it in. Jackson knocks it deep, and they call St. Mary's offside. Souls to say, no, no. He's pleading to the official, but not going to do him any good. Jackson made a pass. Souls was breaking. Looked like he was going to walk in alone, and he blew the whistle. They pick off the pass. Down the far side. Can't deal with it. Blocked and taken away by Stang nicely. And blocked by McCarran. Got a foot on it and knocked it out. Knocking the pass out.
those uh, fans that I thought had come to watch Stang play, I think it's the JV team. They're all Stang soccer players, so I'm assuming it's the JV team. They're all warming up under the scoreboard. And Kevin's got to wear a little push, a little hip check. And you know, knock Rodriguez down. And Stang just got away with a little knock down. They took Thomas Weber down. Kevin splits the defense, stays in control, and gets taken down. <laughs> he broke through two defenders. He looked like he was going to skate by them. And he got a piece of him, and he went down. And he's still down. And he's looking, saying, I'm down. What are we doing? Why are we playing? Now he's back up, and he's OK. And again, I say this each and every game. You don't want to see anybody get hurt, but you hate to see anybody flopping as well. And Kemmins just went down, sat down, stayed there, and when he realized that we're just going to keep playing, then he got up and he's back in at full tilt. So he really wasn't hurt, other than the fact he lost the ball. Stang knocks it out. And it happens more often than not. You see these kids, are they going to be able to get up? Are they going to be carried out? And then he, if they are replaced, they run to the sideline. They've been watching the pros on TV. It's getting into basketball now. With the left foot, couldn't get a line on it. Got run over after the kick. Getting back up, that's Jackson. Had to use the left foot, couldn't get a lot on it because they were running over him. But you, you go down looking, and, and now the official's coming up talking to Jackson about something. I don't, Jackson might have been looking for a call, might have said something. You know, you look to get that call to get the free kick. Hopefully make it in a position, maybe get a scoring opportunity. It goes out. Stang will get the throw in. Game stays the way it is. It's going to be a tough bus ride back for Stang. It was a long time getting here. It took him almost two hours. And here he just takes it away. He didn't block it. They took it away and brought it upfield. Now they knock it loose again. In control. They dump it ahead. From long range, the shot got blocked. Magnin blocked it. Bodies go down. Bodies go down again. The ball is loose. <coughs> Stank player is still down. The pile up in front of the net. Everybody is up. Stank player is now getting held up, helped up. He's okay. Pay us. I think he's. Walking toward the bench. There's non-contact sport. Everybody going down. He went down. They let play continue. It got down near the net. And there were a pile of bodies at the net going down. Miss Gagnon, the trainer, walking out with Diego Perez. She's going to take a check on him over on the sideline. He says he's okay, so she's walking away. 
Cornell knocks it deep. Jackson. The one player we haven't seen, I don't know if he's hurt, is Nick Miller. As McCarron knocked it out. Time to go over and ask about Miller. They told me he's told me he thought he had a broken leg or an ankle. I didn't realize it was that bad. I, I just realized now that he's not out there. A couple of times I thought it was him. It wasn't him. From a distance you can't pick up the numbers. I thought maybe it was him. It was actually Weber that I was thinking about. As Lavasa makes the stop on a kick from long range, pushing it up. Giving it to Chemist. That was Bonfanti with the carry. Bonfanti has to hustle back. Looking for a shot. Take the shot. Big time save by Boyle. That was Jackson. Looking for a second goal. Got around the defense. Ripped it towards the far post. Chemist lets it fly. Throws it high. Deep. Wide and out of play. But Jackson beat the defense, ripped the shot, and Boyle just dove and made the save. Getting it to the net, and it goes wide left. St. Mary's can't save it, it goes out. I was saying, I was surprised that there was only one game at this place today, but now I notice there's going to be two, because I mentioned that I believe it's Stang's JV team warming up. And now I see St. Mary's JVs uh, at the other end in the end zone. They're warming up. It would have been hard to believe it. There would be only one game here at Manning Field when this virtually triple head is played almost every day. So many events at this place and Rich Avery has a job and a half because not only is this place used almost 24-7, but now what used to be Fraser Field was closed with the exception of Fisher College, who would have practices and play a few games here, but those were few and far between. Now it's football and soccer and field hockey practicing at Fraser Field. So Rich Avery has to make sure that he has workers opening the place up, closing it afterwards, cleaning it up, monitoring it. As Galen Magnin is down, he's getting helped up. He's really favoring that right foot or right ankle Ms. Gagnon out. She does a tremendous job for all of the St. Mary's sports. She was pressed into service for a couple of other schools for a short time. Nice to see him getting out under his own steam. He seems to be okay. In fact, he's jogging out. So he's fine. 
he'll be back. Boy, we'll kick it away. High and deep past midfield. And they're going to get Cornell for leaning all over. And I'm going to try this name. Psychopathus. 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 Line drive off the head of Stang. Weber got a head on it. Bonfanti kicks it upfield. Gomez gives it back. Weber up to Gomez. They knock it deep, looking for a break out in front, looking to walk in. Had a had a reach back to get it. It slowed him down, and they had to bring it back out. I think that was Solis. Looked like he was going to break in, and all of a sudden the ball just kind of popped behind him a little bit, and he had to reach back to get it, slowed it down, and that broke up the play. And that Galen Magnan, who Miss Gadgen come out and helped, wasn't out very long because he's back in. They head it back to Boyle, and he'll kick it away. So St. Mary's well on their way to their eighth win, staying undefeated. On Fanti. <laughs> Try to go up and over Payas. That would have been a major collision. St. Mary's breaks it up and takes it away. Down the far side. Stang does the same. Taking it away. St. Mary's just picked it off. They get it to the middle. Back to the middle. Shot from long range. Boyle has to make the diving save. Off Jackson again. And the pass was made. By Anonymous, number 17. Mr. No Name. Cornell hustling back. Lavasso was coming out to get it. Cornell wanted to make sure, and he booted it out of play, and it went way out of play. That's a long run for the ball boy. Bounced over the fence, over everything. Out way to the left of the scoreboard. They kick a little ground ball out in front, booted away by St. Mary's. And St. Mary's walking around, push it up, Stang picks it off. the near side. Payas centers it. Broken up by St. Mary's. They knock it deep, looking for a break. St. Mary's collects. Trying to get around. Stang took it away, and St. Mary's knocked it out. And they call contact on St. Mary's because they're giving Stang a kick. And now the official move the St. Mary's play it further back. 
and Stang boots it away. And it goes out off Stang. Yeah, I think the official was moving the people from St. Mary's a little bit further back. They're a little close. They tip it ahead, broken up. Payas got a piece and broke the pass up. St. Mary's takes it away. Shot blocked. Getting a piece of it was DaCosta. And it goes out off staying. So once again, St. Mary's keeping it and staying in. Shot from long range, goes wide left off the foot of Solis. And actually, that was Jackson that took the shot. So we're just under 22 minutes left in this one. St. Mary's doing 3 nothing. We're going to time out down on the field. Bonfanti knocks it ahead. They pooch it ahead, but I don't know if they were trying to pass or lead, but they, it wound up being a shot on net. Boyle had to make the save on a hop. Off Jackson again. He's got a few shots on net. A couple of would-be scores that Boyle took away on one great save. Knocking it deep. Cornell got knocked down. Stang is wide open. And... Lavassa come out and got a piece of the shot and knocked it wide. <laughs> Great play. Cornell was battling. And Stang player comes up limp a little bit. I think that was Silva. And now he's sitting down. He came up. He looked to get a foot on it. Cornell was trying to block him away. He got by Cornell. Lavassa come out and just got a piece of the shot. Might have got a piece of him as well. And the ball went wide right. And Stang will get a corner kick. Is gagging out to do her job again as the play went down. So that's probably the closest that they come. They did get a shot from long range that we mentioned before in the first half that Carino made a basket catch waist high coming out of the net that wasn't really a tester. That one looked like he was walking in alone, looked like he was going to knock it by Lavasser and get staying on the board, and Lavasser got a big-time save on it. And it's Benny Oliver. That's, again, hard to read the numbers from long range, especially at my age. So Oliver's down. Gagnon is attending to him. And he collided with Cade Cornell. And when he got by, Lavassa come out, and he made contact with Lavassa also. Lavassa got a piece of the shot, and then got a piece of Oliver as well. Oliver went down, the ball went wide, Stang will get a corner kick, but he's still being attended to by Miss Gagnon. Halfway through and counting. We hope everybody's going to be okay. we got bodies going everywhere. 
Three nothing St. Mary's in this Catholic Central League battle. The JV team for Stang is going to be worn out. They've been practicing for a month over in the end zone. Bonfanti puts it in play. Winds up in the middle of the field. I had, you know, it's funny, I had no idea about uh, Nick Miller being hurt. So when I finally realized he wasn't playing, I said, something must be wrong, but I didn't realize it was that serious. So uh, we hope he's going to be okay. He's a, he's a huge part of the St. Mary's team. They, I'm sure they're hoping they'll get him back, at least for the tournament. They threw that pass across. They hustled. They made contact with a goaltender, and Boyle wound up knocking it out. I think it was Marcos Weber that was battling with the goaltender. The corner kick out in front. Ball's loose. Stang will knock it away. And Stang brings it upfield. And we got a trip, an inadvertent trip, not done deliberately, but they wound up getting a piece of Logan Stott. And Gomez, looking for the ball, got the foot, and he took Stott down. Stang, centering it. They got a head on it, they got a foot on it, but it got blocked. And it got blocked by St. Mary's. And just, I was wondering if it was going to be a penalty kick because if St. Mary's blocked it with their hand where they were, it would be, a, and they're going to give Stang a penalty kick. So it got blocked out in front. Stang was walking back like St. Mary's going to kick it away. And it, since they were in the zone, St. Mary's blocked it with their hand. And that gives Stang a penalty kick. And Nathan Rosendez is going to take the penalty kick to try and get Stang on board. Great save by Lavasa. He anticipated correctly. That's all you can do. You got to guess. Is he going to go right? Is he going to go left? He tried to go inside the far post. And a great pick by Lavasa. That's an outstanding play. They tried to kick it to the net. It got blocked. Ponfanti got a head on it. Gomez with it. Stang takes it away, pushes it upfield. Cornell gets there first, tips it to Bonfanti, but a little bit behind him, and it went out of play. So a tremendous save. And that's all. And you got that Grand Canyon, as I call it, to guard against. And the kicker has all the advantage in the world. And the only thing you can do is hope you guess right. And guessing right, Lavasa went to his right and dove and smothered it. And loose for a second, but grabbed it quickly so nobody was able to do anything with it. And that's a tremendous play. Stang got a piece of it, and it goes out of play. Blocked by Stang. Cornell winds up with it. Knocking it deep, looking for a break. Jackson broken up. Jackson takes it away. 
off the tip. And they had, they got by, but they slipped and fell, and now they reached across to tip it. They tipped it to Jackson, but they took the Stang player down at the same time. So Stan gets the kick. They boot it upfield. See, Mary's pushes it away. Nice job by Weber. To the far side. Trying to get by the defense. They got by one. Couldn't get by two. Stan gets it. And what's the back of the staying in? Cornell got a head on it. Deflected off staying. High bounce. Cornell looking for it. Gets a foot on it. Stang player goes down, Stang got a head on it, and he knocked it out. Samiris gets around, Stang takes it away, Samiris takes it back. Stang starts it back. Looking for a break. They knock it deep. Bonfanti is there to knock it away and take it away. Good defense. Up. In front. Jackson tips it. Shot. Big time save by Boyle. And that is the young man who we don't know who he is. With his number 17. And that shot hooks way wide right and out of play. But Jackson and number 17 playing back and forth. And the player who we don't know who it is took the shot. And Boyle made a big time save. Karen knocks it upfield. Samiri's right back in the staying in. It's been there most of the time. Knock it too deep. Trying to get around. Cornell just slides and knocks it out. Bodies go down and St. Mary's clears it deep. Tipped away. And we're going to get St. Mary's for taking Stang down. They'll get the free kick. Nice to see the young man getting up. I think that's over. From the 35, straight on, the free kick. Resendez will take it. Everybody lining up, picking a partner. Winds up going away and out of play. And I guess Cornell, I didn't know whether Cornell got a piece of it, and I guess he did, because they're going to give Stang a corner kick coming from the near side. Looked like he just shanked it off to the right side. Out in front, Stang got a head on it, but headed it back upfield. St. Mary's knocks it upfield, and they call Stang 
They ran over Marin. Lavasso will kick it away. And St. Mary's just kept it in. Not upfield. That's Gomez with it. Akandi. The Monfanti towards the net. Got it just inside the near post, but a couple of bounces makes it easy pickings for Donovan Boyle, and he'll kick it away. Ten minutes and counting left in this one. Three nothing St. Mary's. Looking to stay perfect. Looking for their eighth win with two ties. And they'll get Lynn on the winning track for the first time this week. And we get Akandi went down, but he's very quickly up. Miss Gagnon took three or four steps, like she's going to go upfield and check on him, but said he's okay. St. Mary's picked it off. Stan gets it back. Broken up. And here comes St. Mary's again. They knock it deep down the far side looking for a break. Looking to get around. Throwing it in front. They're there to knock it away. They put it right on the foot of St. Mary's. I think that was Solis. He ripped it and knocked it wide right. And here he's back at it again. Shot. Somehow it bounced out in front. Shot. Score. Took a crazy bounce. Deflected out right by the net. It came back out in front. And see, mary has got the left foot on it and knocked it in. Crazy deflection. It looked like it was going to go behind the net. It got deflected, went right by the front of the net to the other side. And getting credit for the goal is Anthony Gomez. It was crazy. It just popped to one side. St. Mary threw it out in front. And Gomez was there, took with the left foot, just found it inside the far post past Boyle. And Samiri adds to the lead to make it four to nothing. And Stan will get a free kick from the 20 yard line. So four different scorers for the Spartans. And it's gonna be a tough bus ride back. They drill it through that picket fence. Lavasa makes the diving stop. And that's been it most of the would-be damage. Out in front, and they knock it home. They fanned on the first one, and then they got a second chance and Jackson knocked it in. Now they're saying it was Gomez again. <coughs> so 
Oh, back-to-back goals by Gomez. But that was a great rush. They put the shot. It was loose out in front. They knocked it right into the goaltender. But then it laid there, and they got a second chance. And from very in close, they just tipped it by. And again, St. Mary's numbers are bright gold, but they're very, very small. So it's awful difficult to pick them up, especially from a distance. So the only, the only question has been, and it's a question you need to be a, a answered for a very long time. The only thing left, and has been for a very long time, will stand good on the board. They had the penalty kick that Lavasa made a tremendous save on, and just before that, the shot that set up the penalty kick was a blast from inside the end zone with a maze of players and they drilled it but they drilled it right into the defense it never got to the net or the goaltender and when they blocked it they blocked it with a hand and that gave them the penalty shot the other one was the rush by Benny Oliver who had contact with Cornell got by him looked like he was walking alone and going to bang it home Lavasa made the great save, knocked it wide. Those were the two scoring opportunities. Three when you count the shot that set up the penalty shot. And in the first half, they had one shot that was a little pop-up right into the midsection of Carino, who was the goaltender in the first half. And Carino had an easy save. Otherwise, staying did virtually nothing in the first half. They spent it the majority, vast majority of time in their own end. And St. Mary's has had it in the staying end. As I mentioned, the vast majority of times. Mary's just kept it in. They get a foot on it. They knock it in. They get control. They get a foot on it again. And it just got broken up. I think that was Magnin who broke up the play. Akandi to the middle. Pass picked off by Stang. Clock is stopped. We're in the final five minutes and counting. The officials will now keep the clock. Stag looking for a shot. That was McCarron that got a foot on it. And Cornell boots it away as it was loose. Weber. And I have to say Marcos Weber because there's two of them. Stag takes it away. And Mary knocks it away. And they knock it out. So on the free kick early, K.A. Jackson knocked it home. On a scrum out in front, Marcus Weber, Weber banged one home. And then it was Solis making it 3 nothing. And then back-to-back -back goals from close in by Anthony Gomez. And that's where we are, five to nothing. So Gomez getting back to back. With time winding down here. Throw it behind Perez out of play. Bonfanti blocked it and knocked it off Silva. Look 
Gonna knock it ahead. Knocked up field. Silva pushes it to the middle. Magnin knocked it right to a condi. Can't be a lot of time left. Trying to center it. A condi blocked the pass and knocked it out of play. So Stang is going to go to 5-5-1 five, five and one as the shot goes high over the net and out of play. So Mary's going to stay virtually perfect. 8-0-2. They'll move one win away from the state championship or the state tournament, I should say. They hope it's a state championship coming up, but it's a long way away. You kick it up field, the whistle blows, and that's going to do it. So I don't know what Stang, if Stang has to hang around and watch the JV game. It's going to be a longer night, a longer tough night, but it's going to be a very difficult bus ride back. They didn't have a lot of offense. They didn't challenge the goaltenders virtually at all. Lavasa made one big save. He made a great save on the penalty kick. Other than that, it was all St. Mary's. Gomez gets two. Jackson gets one. Marcos Weber Jr. gets one. Solis gets one. And St. Mary's wins it five to nothing, shutting out Stang. St. Mary's goes to 8 0 and 2, a win away from the state tournament. Stang will go to 5 5 and 1. So 5 nothing, St. Mary's over Stang. We hope you enjoyed it. I'm John Hoffman saying we'll see you next time.